This is going to be one of them jobs which should be really easy. But we all know it won't be. What's the job? Well, the back of the van, right? Mr. Paul, and you, you can take the blame for this one because Paul's got a step on the back of his van. Yeah? Hmm. Been looking at them for a while. The, a couple of hundred quid. But as I looked online the other day, I got one for 250. Yeah, paid for it. With money. Wasn't sent to us. Wasn't discounted. Wasn't free. Paid for. Like 99.99999% of the van build. Apart from a handful of things. A couple of things. So anyway, right, that's that over with. It basically bolts on underneath and then it gives you a big step area. We want one. Because Paul's got one. And it's easier to get in the back and do things and we're only short. I know there's going to be comments on that fat trucker. You'll be one of them. Mm, there'll also be another one, won't there, Neil? Mm, yeah, leave your comments now, the short jokes. So, the step comes in two parts. We have this part here. Don't know what it is. Let's open it and find out. A big bag of bolts. Two big plates. They're like horns. And then next is this box, which is the step. Now, it's got a yellow one there. I do hope it's not yellow. I did ask for black. I did order black. But well, let's get her open and we shall see. It's not yellow. So in here is just the step. So you can change. These are, it's a plastic step with a metal frame underneath so if this gets scratched banged bumped you can change this step out for a new one you can buy them separately i thought i was going to have problems because underneath our van we've got a big 55 litre gas tank now they go on to the main beams that run down the van bolt through our gas tank is also bolted to those beams you're going to be proud of me i've read some instructions now, on the instructions, it does say, if I can find the picture, so there's the inside of the beam, just there, if you can see it. There's the inside of the beam there. Um, that is on the inside of the beam. Now, our gas tank is secured on the insides, which is there and which is there. These bolts on the outside. So you have your main beam running down like that, the gas tank is secured on the inside. These plates go on the outside. I thought for a minute then, I was having to ring Andy. Oh, and if you don't want gas, Andy gas. Um, probably the best person in the, United, in the world. The world, I'll say that. I'll leave um, Andy's, here's his details there. I'll leave them in the links in the description. If you want gas fitting, we went to Andy. Um, we got our gas fitted when we were building the van from Andy. Lovely guy. Dead quick at his job. Dead good at his job. And uh, he's also got a funky van as well. I'll leave his Instagram down there. Take a look at him. So, right. We will have to secure the tank up. That's what I'm saying. We am on my own. Uh, I will have to secure the tank up because I'm going to have to do the bolts underneath that hold it in place. Also, I'm going to have to move the fill point for the gas as well, which isn't a problem. It's just one of them things. So, right, this is pretty straightforward. I don't really need these, but I will keep hold of them anyway because Emma will go, I told you so. Right, so in the kit, you do get your two big pieces like that. You also get a load of these bits of massive bolts, which will go through there, go through the chassis, and secure them into the van. You get a load of washers, you get a load of nylocks, and then you get a load of other nuts and bolts to connect these parts which will be this, where your step sits on. So they will go through there and connect the step to this. They are a pretty big chunk of metal. Now, if you're wondering, the whole kit, the step, and these two big lumps of steel, it comes to 14 to 15 kilograms. So you are adding 14, 15 kilos to your van. Be aware of that. So as you can see, our gas tank is there. Now, the holes 
that the unit goes through are all up here. So it bolts into there on that side and then on this side it bolts into where they are. But our gas tank is on the inside on both sides, just there and just there. So the plan of attack will be undo this strap. I mean, the good thing is we're running low on gas anyway, so that's going to be a bonus. Um, undo that bolt there, undo the bolt that's over there, um, drop, I don't even think the tank will drop down because it's bolted on the back, but I'll get the jack underneath there, just take the bit of the weight off that and then um, mount them on this side and then mount them on that side. First of all, I'm gonna tackle this plate and get this plate off and um, go from there. Right, I've got to undo a couple of these. I've got to re-mount the filler, so I'll have to take that off first. So undo a couple of cable ties, mount, take that off and just dangle that on the floor because that'll have to get fixed at a step. Right, all fun and games. You know what, I might get the, um, the wire brush on them and give them a clean up before he uh, even attempts. Get some WD-40 on them and then uh, get them off. That's the best way forward, I think. Ah! Bloody gun won't go in. Oh, hang on. Plan B. Why is it not going over it? Piss off, it's an 18. Right, I haven't got an 18 long socket. I'll have to try this. That should work. Where's that spanner? Where have I just put that spanner? What the? Oh, it's there. It's not going well, this is it. It could be here sometime. I say, this is what happens when you haven't got the exact right tools for the job. You end up pissing about with all sorts of shit. Oh, God, I don't know what. Fuck off! I told you it wasn't going to be easy, didn't I? As if I'm going to be so difficult. Now I've got the socket stuck on the actual... It's a joke. It's absolute farce. Oh, we've got two. As you can see, this bit isn't going too well. Stop for a cup of tea, because that pissed me off. But I've also realised as well, I don't have to mess with the gas tank because the bolts for the gas tank are in a completely different place. Good job there, Andy. <sighs> right. The ones I've taken out, I'm now go and replace. Let's have a look at the instructions. So the bolts that we took out, we basically replaced them with these. And this plate goes on, then a washer, then a bolt. Let's get that done. The bolts that went through, we replaced them with these. So we've still got one bolt in. Put another one through. And then we can get this bracket mounted on here. But first of all, we need to move this. Undo them. And three. Right now, this I just get dropped down. Right, so get a washer on each of them, and then get a nut on. They are on, as you can see, and they're on on that side as well up there. So 
Just got to tighten them now. And the good thing about these is they're all 19s. That is them for all up, all done. One bracket sorted. So there's nothing in the way of that. So this one should be an absolute breeze. So I'll get that on and then I'll be back. We've got them on. We've got one sticking out here and we've got one sticking out here. Still got to sort the gas out where I'm going to put that. I'm not worried about that right now. What we've got to do next is mount that step onto there, which should be easy. Either end of the step, you've got these, which are just basically got to pair up to them. It's not going to be rocket science, is it? For fuck's sake, the plates need to be on the other sides. Now, wonderful. Now I did look at the pictures. I didn't read the words, but I looked at the pictures. So now I've got to take them back off and you've got to go on the inside. I've got no words. Honestly, I've got no words. Really haven't. The stupidity of one man who refuses to read things. I'll have a look at the instructions now, see if it says read. Do what... Do. Right. Take them off, put them back on again. Right, see, it's not me. I'm not being stupid. So as you look at that main beam there, the hookup points, well, the, the, the toe and hitch is on the left, the bar is on the right. And then the same with the other side. Fit in the suction. See, that's on the left and that's on the right. I was right. The instructions were wrong. Right, that's just... Two hours later. Right, that was an absolute faff. Now we've got them moved. Will this fit? I don't know whether it goes on the outside or the inside. Not really think it matters, to be honest. Right, that's on. Let's get it bolted. I've got a feeling. Ugh. Oh, there we go. Right. Good. That's bolty. Right, so we've got our bolts. <laughs> Get a few of them through with the washers on first. I don't want this slamming down in my head. So two bolts in each, and then I fasten them up with the nuts that are there. It's on. I haven't sorted the gas out. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cable tie it to the underneath of this for now until I can go over and see Andy and he can put me a longer cable on, longer gas pipe on and do it properly. Um, so I want it extending to a different part of the van. So leave it at that. But there we go. We can have a seat on the back. Even better. Right. Does it work? The good thing about having the step, this is going to be pathetic now and you're going to laugh at me is when we're changing the bedding, we can get up here and do it properly, because it's a pain in the ass. Also means that when we're getting in the boot and we're on somewhere, say we're on ramps, we can at least step up and get in, but it's better. That also means if I reverse into someone, the step's getting in, not the back of the van. So that does look a bit better. It's a bit, it just means that you can stand on it and you can get up and you can reach inside the van. 
we can get to the actual bed from standing on it and that is that's proper solid so made up with that now i did say it was going to be a bit of a faff didn't i and i was honest it was it was an absolute nightmare i don't know why it didn't say on the things that it goes on the inside man it doesn't because i've looked at the instructions and it doesn't say that but hey you live and learn that's life so right i think next weekend we've got um a friend coming here and we are going to be doing a lot of suspension work on his van hmm because he's going full time with his van and he wants all the suspension doing that was a uh, one of those half an hour jobs that what's taken me four hours but hey get on with it don't you right i'm going whatever you do do it well and i'll um see you soon um got another power bank review coming soon with a bit of a difference we're going to be giving it away after we've reviewed it so stay tuned for that one because you might get a free power bank winner winner chicken dinner right going ta-ta